I feel like after like losing a set and then starting a new one, we all woke up and realized like, hey, let's get it together. And we just came out and all the energy was there from every part of the team. This set just honestly kind of made me sad. I mean, we started out pretty bad. I mean, we they had a 5-0 and lead and I mean, it's really hard not to get down on yourself, but I think our team does a really good job of picking each other up and I think we could have done that a little bit better tonight. This game wrap is presented by R&D Custom Builders. You dream it, we build it. Proudly supporting area high school sports. And by the Jason Glass Group. Jason Glass Group is the top sales team within the premier real estate brokerage in the greater San Antonio area, Phyllis Browning Company. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great area high school and local sports coverage, TV, radio, and cheap web streams refuse to cover. And check out my Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and the UIL will love you if you do it. Thanks so much and enjoy the show. The non-district volleyball season continues to roll through the end of August with a good intersection interclassification matchup involving Bulldogs as 4A Bandera heads east to take on 3A Marion. Now, debate season is still months away for the UIL. We're going to have a debate here right now, speaking of volleyball. 6A and 5A are going to have to debate with the Austin area to see who's going to end up in the state semifinals in Garland. But for 4A and 3A, their debating partners are going to be East with Columbus in 3A and Belleville in 4A. Those teams ended up in the state semifinals a year ago. Of course, these two teams are going to have to debate with teams from their own area first. 3A, both always a tough team. Vanderbilt Industrial down south, among others. 4A is stacked with Davenport, Lavernia, and Floresville, among others. Bandera 16-11 on the season. Marion is 12-8. Both teams are ahead of last year's pace. But what's up for debate tonight is which team is the better team nicknamed Bulldogs? Let's head to Marion and check out all the action presented by R&D Custom Builders and the Jason Glass Group. This match was back and forth like a traditional debate as neither team could carry momentum over from one set to the next. I'll tell you right now, the match itself went five sets. Instead of showing you hundreds of points, I'll show you dancing and more dancing and pantomime volleyball from the Marion side? They're doing an impression of how the Dallas Cowboys have played football the last 25 years. Like I promised, this match went the distance, so let's show you what happened besides the dancing. We are! Right. Back with more after this message from R&D Custom Builders.
Bandera jumped out to a 6-0 lead in the fifth, watched Marion get to within two twice, but scored five of the final six points to win the fifth set 15-9 and the match. In this debate of who is the better Bulldogs, this one went to Bandera. I feel like after, like, Losing a set and then starting a new one, we all woke up and realized like, hey, let's get it together. And we just came out and all the energy was there from every part of the team. Over the summer, we all put in a lot of work and all of us got better collectively. And as it's showing in preseason, we're winning more games, we're putting balls down better. And I feel like our pride and our confidence is carrying over and we are just going to walk with that in district. One thing we've really been focusing on in the preseason and during practices is our energy. And this year, a firm belief of ours is if our energy is up, we will play like much better than we would if it was down. So we really just focused on our cheering and the energy from the bench and the energy from the court, as well as getting the ball back to the service line as fast as possible so we can continue with the game as fast as possible. It's always really been a focus in our program to try to speed the game up, but this year we're really realize the power that it has and so we're starting to do it a lot better. It's pretty exhausting. I mean, it's it's really a struggle when you don't really have an idea of how the next set's going to go. Um, our service team wasn't exactly there at all times and just we had trouble putting the ball down here and there. Once we got on a run, we could keep it, but we just struggled to keep our lead in the game and I think that really took a toll on us. It's really hard not to get down on yourself, but I think our team does a really good job of picking each other up and I think we could have done that a little bit better tonight. We're all super close and that really affects how you play on the court. It's definitely a learning experience. We couldn't keep our momentum and we really struggled with it. The whole entire game was unpredictable, but I think now we're just going to take it and learn from it. We don't really have anybody holding us back and we're just really going for it together. Reporting from the volleyball version of a presidential debate in Marion, I am Mr. President. I mean, Mr. Bowtie.